We also are very fortunate to have our Board of Supervisors here uh, this morning, and they have some remarks for you. So I would um, like, like to invite uh, Chair Mandy Metzger up. Good morning. I had prepared remarks for this morning, and I pulled them out a few minutes ago to brush up on them, and it was my dentist bill. So, <laughs> no yeah, no pun intended. But I am so very happy to be here today. I am a relatively new supervisor, so didn't have as much to do as you'll hear from my colleagues this afternoon or this morning. Um, all the processes and and that they went through, and the great joy that today brings. But I'd like to uh, make a couple remarks that are perhaps a little different. And we've been asked to make inspired remarks. And I think as we look across this beautiful lake bed, I think of Beverly Miller, who is sitting in the front row, who you just met, who came to live on the Miller Brothers Ranch with her new husband, Dwayne, in 1953. And she was a bride. She lived over there. And she was a bride without the luxury of modern-day conveniences, although I understand they did have a crank telephone. But there were four parties on the telephone line, so you could hear each other's business without even going to a meeting. <laughs> but she had this breathtaking view in 1953, as was many years before, and she also had this commitment to the ranching way of life. And at this time of year, Beverly could watch the thunderstorms build, knowing that they would bring the rains to grow the grasses to provide for the grazing of livestock. And she watched abundant numbers of wildlife, elk and deer and antelope, forage on western wheat and muley and the sedges and the rushes that grow out in this lake bed. And with the seasons change, she saw the migration of birds, including white pelicans uh, that would stop and, for water and for rest. And from her kitchen window, she could see the corrals where they sorted the cattle for shipping in the fall. And she learned to recognize early on in her marriage what every ranch woman wife knows, how to know when to put the pot of beans on and take the roast out of the oven so that you could feed the ranch hands at their midday meal. And so this land was before Beverly was a bride and will be so for decades to come, a multiple use landscape providing for both recreation and utility, supporting rich habitat and countless species and ensuring the recharge of water and the protection of open space. So on behalf of the grateful citizens of Coconino County, I want to express my, my thanks to the Miller Brothers Ranch family um, for caretaking this beautiful land since 1933, to the governor and the Arizona State Land Department and the Arizona State Parks Board for providing Coconino County with the opportunity to safeguard it in perpetuity and to our many partners who were recognized here today, and I'm not sure Camp Navajo was recognized, but our many partners who will be, are committed to collaborative conservation and into whose hands you entrust its future. So thank you very much. You know who else we did not introduce today is Mr. Earl Weatherwax. As some of you may know, the county just received a donation of the Frontier property, which was Earl's partner, and um, we're just very, very grateful. So if you want to talk to him after the ceremonies, he's here. So thank you very much, Earl. <laughs>